the Cincinnati, the winner. I went on to win that, beating three European champions. I tell the truth, I... And after that, I teamed up with uh, and training out Gary Lockett. Wish I was like this from age of 20. Brock Freeze! Against Donald Curry a couple... Well, he's seven feet and 21 nice. No chance. Quicker in all my right hands in the back of Broner. Broner blocked Reese's left with his right. Reese is not fighting like he's intimidated. No, he's not intimidated at all, but he's too speed here early. Reese is. Good job. The body shot. Broner has contented himself. Hasn't unleashed a Reese stance, which. Well, it might. The body shots. Yes, uh, Reese, that is that he's backing up. He can't back off of him because he has to push Broner back. Then it would be hard for Broner to adjust with the wide stand. Broner seems very relaxed. Three more good body shots for Reese. Broner finally throws the right hand. Good left hook by Broner and Reese clocks him with a right hand up. Another right hand. Don't push his head down, Adrian. Don't push his head down. He's ducking a couple of Broner punches there at five feet four. That's quite a duck. Shot. Something that we haven't seen many guys try on Broner, but at least he came to try something different. That was a with Max Kellerman. Executing it, and he's ha he has the hand speed to do it. That's the most surprising. As Reese can maintain some of that, he'll land body shots. Orching with the jab and landing that solidly, but it's most of the punching is being done by Reese. We're, we're brothers doing it. I'm gonna be in your face, being a problem all night. That's what he's basically trying to do to Reese. He's gonna have to hit Reese harder to take his confidence away. Reese is a cocky little Welshman. Reese is also moving his head more than he has in the past. One of the reasons the odds were so long is Reese has not shown a lot of head movement in the past, and Broner's a big puncher. But you heard the caution of Gary Lockett between rounds, and he said, watch out, he's a counterpuncher. Left hook lands upstairs for Reese, and that gets a big rise from the crowd. He and he Broner. lands two more bounces. And got him a good left hook off. at least so far, that the good old lack of height to their advantage by getting so low, it becomes hard for their opponent to hit them. But staying outside, he's going to run into yeah. big problems with that straight right hand. And now Broner's starting to land some clean shots. They're starting to pick Reese up a little bit. The right hand on Reese's chin. Another good body shot for in the fight all the way through the first couple of rounds. But that straight right hand is starting to close the eye a little bit. But he may want to start trying to keep that off of him. This was 24 shots. Right, even though Broner landed some good shots in that round to give you the sense. While he was giving you that sense, Reese was landing punches. <laughs> Attempt to find his range as Reese comes in. Ribbon, Adrian Broner, and Reese from Wales. Good right hand by Broner. Reese dropping his hands and showing Broner his head movement. Cocky little Welshman. And he has a so down low and then to Broner to the last second. There it is, right there. Broner's hand speed. I heard him bad with that yep. left hook right there. Yep. Almost dropped him with that left hook. Uppercut by Broner. <laughs> Tell you what. And he's still coming at Broner with everything he's got. There's a body shot for Broner. Up 
uppercut lands for Broner. Starting to get more accurate. Starting to pick Reese off. And Reese reaches out and grabs at the crowd. And, and here's one of the elements about of Broner that's so fantastic. Power on top of that right hand lead has been his best weapon. After that, he pushed, launched a big attack against the ropes. Hit him with a nice uppercut, a right hook. For Reese, yeah. Adrian Broner went to Howdy Habit 2-3. The action, the momentum of the fight is changing. 2-1, to 29-28, Gavin Reese. Uh, I thought Gavin Reese clearly won the first two rounds. But then again, Adrian Broner was clowning, you know? It was like first two rounds away. Broner became Adrian Broner. You know, really showed what he's got. He dropped good right hands on Gavin Reese. He clearly won the third round. Two Heard Gary Loss is reaching, and that owner gave him a little distance and started oh. coming in. There he is. Right uppercut towards Gavin Reese. And he's hurt pretty bad. That Gavin Reese has tasted canvas. Broner did it with a single shot. When he went down against Cattell in 08, that was in the 12th round after a long fight. So this is still relatively fresh in the fight. Reese trying to get to those body shots again and slow Broner down a little bit. But Broner is getting into the target practice area. <laughs> Gavin Reese is in trouble. Blinding combinations. He knows Reese is going to be right there in front of him. So he's letting him have it right there. He, has he goes a, back into the jaws of the lion. He has a big heart. Fight, and he had a perfect game plan. And Broner's starting to beat him up anyway. Still some fight left in Gavin Reese. A lot of fight left in Reese. It'll be interesting to see what Gary Lockett has to say after this round. He's communicating with the fighter. They have a great future doing that. Tell you what, I like Broner's attack up and young guys don't do this. You've got to remember, he's only 23 years old. He has a, a calculated body attack. He almost dropped with a body shot right there. There's that beautiful right up cut right on the chin that uh, Reese was not looking for. Caught him off guard, and like we say all the time, and that catches you. He came in with a right hand and stayed right in the middle. He hit him up with the elbow, and boom, there was the right upper cut. Right as he thought. Brina. Now, that's that's Broner's winner. Mike Stafford is proving with Adrian Broner. A tremendous goals. Power shots in the fourth round. Broner was 40 of 67. Reese, 22 of being back. And I think that's probably what Gary Lockett was saying between rounds is, if you keep going after him like this, you're going to take too many counters. About stopping the fight just now. He did, he did. And the bad thing about it is that Broner just said the round before that that he thought uh, Reese had two more rounds and it was over with. Two right hands. Fight that in his last three fights combined. <laughs> <laughs> that Larkin, I mean, that Reese has a heart, son. He is one stubborn guy. No question about it. Yeah, I'd like to see Reese some more. Because he, he, he's started to take a real beating in the last two rounds, but here he is. Oh, good shot. Our corner man in Gavin Reese's Earl Brown over and wanted to stop the fight. And Reese took And a good thing, I guess, because Reese has landed two solid right hands in this round. Well, he's trying his hardest, son. It doesn't get better than this as far as an effort. Yeah, he's taking a beating at the hands of Adrian Broner, but... He beat a lot of lightweights, and he's still fighting and still hitting Broner cleanly. He's definitely showing that Broner can be hit. But he hits back as well. <laughs> and can be hit in spite of all the physical advantages, because Broner enters the ring to hurt his opponent. And I think that, more than wrapping on the way to the ring and clown stuff, to do damage. 100%. It's because he's an offensive fighter. He is there to try to knock his opponent out. Oh, oh. Another uppercut, this time with the left hand. To the body, though. So Broner has scored knockdowns with both the right uppercut and the left uppercut. Now Reese is in trouble again, and Gary 
Jerry Lockett is up on the ring apron with the white towel. Once again, that right hand lead. Down, Roy. Yeah, I like the right hand lead. I love the right hand lead all night long, but the body shot here is the one that caught him. And it caught him because right there he relaxed. Ronald knows he relaxed, and boom, there was the body shot right as he relaxed. And it wasn't low, it was right on or oh, above the belt line. A perfect body shot. And see what 